What does the Bible say about dreams? As when the hungry man dreams, he is eating and awakens with his hunger not satisfied. Or when a thirsty man dreams, he is drinking and awakes faint with his thirst not quenched. So shall the multitudes of all nations be that fight against Mount Zion. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision. Fear not, Abraham. I am your shield. Your reward shall be very great. In the second year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. His spirit was troubled and his sleep left him. I saw in my vision by night and beheld the four winds of heaven were stirring up the great sea and four great beasts came out of the sea different from one another. The first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. Then as I looked, its wings were plucked off and it was lifted up from the ground and made to stand on two feet like a man and the mind of a man was given to it. And behold, another beast, a second one like a bear. It was raised up on one side. It had three ribs in its mouth between its teeth and it was told, Arise, devour much flesh. I saw a dream that made me afraid. As I lay in bed, the fancies and the visions of my head alarmed me. In a dream, in a vision, of the night when deep sleeps fall on men while they slumber on their beds. A dream comes with much business and a fool's voice with many words. And he said, Hear my words. If there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, make myself known to him in a vision. I speak with him in a dream. If a prophet or a dreamer of dreams arise among you, gives you signs or a wonder and the signs or wonders that he tells you comes to pass and if he says let us go after another God which you have not known and let us serve them and you shall not listen to the words of the prophet or that dreamer of dreams.
Then the mystery was revealed to Daniel in a vision of the night. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. They who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And when Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord did not answer him, either by dreams, or urine, or by prophets. After two whole years, Pharaoh's dreams that he was standing by the Nile, and behold, there came up of the Nile seven cows, attractive and plump, and they fed on the reed grass, and behold, seven other cows, ugly and thin, came up out of the Nile after them, and stood by the other cows on the banks of the Nile, and the other cows ate up the seven attractive plump cows. Come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirits on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. Even on the male and the female servants in those days I will pour out my spirit. fly away like a dream and not be found. He will be chased away like a vision of the night. And he dreamed and behold, there was a ladder set up on earth and the top of it reached heaven. And he behold, the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. For the household gods utter nonsense, and the diviners see lies. They tell false dreams and give empty constellations. Therefore the people wander like sheep. They are afflicted for lack of a shepherd. my word, speak my word faithfully. What has straw in common with wheat, declares the Lord. For when dreams increase, grow many, there is vanity, but God is the one you must fear. <laughs> 